Everyone loves Star Wars, right? And everyone loves an Easter egg. So what could possibly be more enjoyable than hunting for Easter eggs in Star Wars movies? Well, quite a lot actually, but that's not the point. The point is, there are a lot of Easter eggs in the Star Wars franchise. Ever since 1977's A New Hope, and all the way up to 2015's The Force Awakens and 2016's Rogue One, each movie has been teeming with full inclusions and references that Eagle Eye viewers love to spot. Here are 10 hidden Easter eggs in Star Wars movies. Finn's Stormtrooper ID. In 2015's The Force Awakens, one of the main characters was John Boyega's Finn, who started the movie as a Stormtrooper before reforming. When he was a Stormtrooper, we heard him being referred to as FN2187, the only name he was ever given. And that number has more significance than you may think. It's actually the number of the cell block where Princess Leia was held in the very first Star Wars movie. There it is. Even more interestingly, 2187 is the name of a short abstract 1963 Canadian film that was a huge influence for Star Wars creator George Lucas when he was a young man. The flags outside Maz Kanata's bar. Staying with 2015's The Force Awakens, there's a particular easter egg, or a collection of easter eggs, that throws back to a number of previous movies in the franchise. And it comes in the form of a number of flags. We're referring to the flags decorating the exterior of Maz Kanata's bar. Because they all seem to correspond to something from the Star Wars movies in the past, with many having first appeared during the pod race scene in The Phantom Menace, for example. There are also some flags bearing symbols that appear on Boba Fett's outfit from both The Empire Strikes back and Return of the Jedi. E.T.'s Friends In 1997's The Phantom Menace, Queen Amidala goes to the galactic core planet of Coruscant to do some political negotiating, and she gets involved in a session with the Galactic Senate, the governing body of the Galactic Republic. The Senate is attended by representatives of different worlds and species from around the Star Wars universe, but also some from another movie universe. If you look closely enough, you'll see three members of E.T. species, a typical and classic nod by George Lucas to his close friend, Steven Spielberg. Mm -hmm. A trio of cameos. In 2002's Attack of the Clones, there is a scene in which Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker follow Zam Wessel into a bar, and in the bar, a number of Easter eggs can be found, including three in the form of cameos by some notable people, one of whom is played by an out-of-costume Anthony Daniel, who played C-3PO, and another whom is played by Ahmed Best, who plays Jar Jar Binks. There is also a cameo by one of George Lucas' children. She plays an alien character with tendrils on her head. The Millennium Falcon. Our final Easter egg for the Star Wars prequel trilogy comes from 2005's Revenge of the Sith, and it's a fun inclusion that gives a nod to the original trilogy. After Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker infiltrate General Grievous's ship, the villain flees from it and the Jedi's crash land what's left of it on Coruscant. They are then taken away in a transporter vehicle. As the transporter goes to land in the lower right of the screen, you can see none other than the Millennium Falcon, although it is very, 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 very small on the screen. Cell Block 1138. We now come to the original trilogy and the first movie to be released in the Star Wars franchise, 1997's A New Hope, and it's basically an easter egg in which George Lucas gives a nod to himself. It comes from the scene in which Han Solo and Luke Skywalker are in stormtrooper suits, pretending they've captured Chewbacca in order to save Princess Leia in the Death Star. When they ask what they're doing, Luke replies, Prison transfer from Cell Block 1138. Prisoner transfer from Cell Block 1138? which is a reference to THX 1138, the first movie Lucas ever directed. Mickey Mouse. George Lucas happens to be a huge Disney fan. When he was 11, he was at Disney World on the day it opened, for example. And what are you Disney for now? Well, a lot of things actually, but one of them is a hidden Mickey phenomenon. It should come as no surprise that there is a hidden Mickey in 1980's The Empire Strikes Back. The hidden Mickey can be seen in the background in Cloud City as Luke Skywalker fights Darth Vader. Coincidentally, this also turned out to be a foreshadowing of the fact that Disney now owns Lucasfilm and the distribution to the modern Star Wars films. Hmm, interesting. The crowd surfing Stormtrooper. Our final Easter egg from the original Star Wars trilogy comes from 1983's Return of the Jedi. And this one's nothing more than a fun little inclusion from right at the end of the movie. In one of the celebration scenes just before the Emperor's statue falls down, there's a crowd of people at the bottom of the screen. As the camera pans from them to the left, if you look closely, you'll see a Stormtrooper crowd surfing. Which we'll sure you'll agree isn't something you see every day. Kelvin Ridge. Back to 2015's The Force Awakens now, and to the scene in which Rey first encounters the droid BB-8. Rey mentions a place called Kelvin Ridge. 
Kelvin is the name of the movie director's J.J. Abrams' grandfather, and it's one of his favorite Easter eggs, so it's a name he sneaks into nearly all of his film projects. Another example of that is the first Star Trek movie, in which the starship in the opening scene was the USS Kelvin. The Jedi Statue. Whether or not you consider this to be an easter egg or not, we wanted to include something from Rogue One trailer. And this was certainly a fun inclusion that got a lot of people talking. It's the destroyed ruins of a gigantic Jedi statue from the Holy Force sensitive planet of Jedha, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. But which Jedi is it? Obi-Wan Kenobi? Luke Skywalker? Someone else entirely? What does it mean? We will surely find out in due course and we're very excited about it. Thanks for watching our video on 10 hidden easter eggs in Star Wars movies. Did you enjoy this video? What other easter eggs can you remember in the Star Wars movies franchise? Leave us a comment and let us know! If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and check out the rest of our channel. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to CBR for cool vids about movies, action heroes, gaming, comics and more!